Brian, to say this is uh, emotional is an understatement. How do you even express what you're feeling in words? Everything, even before this. <laughs> I'm not a bad mother. <laughs> it just hurt. What did the parents tell you? They said that she said she was wrapping gifts and she let my two kids out in the backyard because she didn't want them to see the gifts. But you didn't let the other kids out. Where were the other kids? Why my two just go back there? At night, she said it was dark. And it's cold right now, so I know it was cold then. So I don't believe it. So when did she tell you this? Where were you when she told you this? I just came here 45 minutes when nobody was here. 45 minutes to an hour and we knocked on the door and it took them a minute to come and he came out and he want to say he's sorry and all that I just don't feel in my heart that I, it's something they're not <laughs> do you have a relationship with these parents? I don't you know them I don't know them and I know, I told them my last visit, when the visits prior to that, I said, when these kids used to be with her, they were fatter. My kids are skinny. They, they used to cry when they picked them up, like, at the end of the visit. They, they weren't dressing them. They weren't cutting their hair when I, I still had rights. So I asked them, can they cut their hair? Their hair wasn't being cut. <sighs> I just know, I know my kids and they, they was not happy with them. I felt it at visits, I told them, I told them, I told them. <laughs> so you've been visiting this, the family? No, my kids at visits, they were with her, but they switched, they switched, sorry, they switched it to them. And they didn't even barely want to talk to me at visits. They didn't really want to let me. I'm like, can I please just, I'm not a bad mother. It was a mishap of what happened. <laughs> can y'all just let me still be in their life? They denied Christmas gifts and everything from me and my mother. They were adopted um, in 2019, right? I do you know? I don't know. I didn't know anything after, after, after the last court date. I didn't know anything. Brian, going back to your interaction with the foster parents, anyone looking at you could tell you're clearly devastated. When they were telling you this, what kind of sense did you get? Any emotion on their end? On her, she's too nonchalant. And on him, he's trying to plead to me and say sorry, but it, I just feel safe. And you saw the police cars out here investigating. Yes, I saw that through the AV yesterday. It goes to say that a mother has the best intuition of her kids. What do you think happened? They did something. I feel like they did something and they know something. They did something. And I feel my kids is somewhere around here. I feel it. And I feel like they're in the house, and I feel like they did something. I really do. So did the did they tell you they called they called police for the missing children, or did someone else call? Them? The news said that they reported them missing. I don't know if I trust but the news. <laughs> I don't understand how that barely gets going on at nine something, and they were missing at five. So what were you doing for four hours? Were you looking for them or were you what? There's people throughout the... They don't know no one out here, so... This is...
I just went and we went and just turned out flyers and had them hanging them on the stores and talking to people. And I'm here to do my interviews. Anybody want to ask me 